the dream is to play in Crow Park. Mecca, Gladiators Arena, call it what you like. It's, uh, it's just a place you dream of playing in. I think all the players will tell you they love stepping out onto that hallowed ground. Croke Park enters the mind very early in the year. It's not just the team, it's the whole community. Could we be there? There is a house built out of stone. This is a place where I don't feel This is a place where I feel at home. I was lucky enough to play in seven finals. You'll never forget your first final, All-Ireland final. It's such a special occasion. I just couldn't wait to get my hands on the cup again and just bring it down into the crowd. And that was a magic moment. It's DJ Carey at a significant stage of the match coming up to hit the penalty and score! It's the biggest day that will ever come to ourselves. It's as simple as that. I played in nine finals from 91 to 2004. Everything bursts out at, the, at that time because th this is what you've trained for, this is what you wanted to do, uh, and the end result is to win that All-Ireland final. Hey, a goal! When the final whistle went, the, 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 it was like they grew out of the ground. The people just welled up out of everywhere. I couldn't believe it how quickly people got onto the field. For a Galway guy to captain uh, their hurling team to win two senior all irons in a row was very rare indeed. And, you know, I'm, I'm particularly honoured in that sense to have uh, the honour of being captain. Bat it down for the goalkeeper. It's a goal! I was just caught in the crowd, and uh, I think famously Jack Bootman said, uh, Caldwell Anthony Daly, you know. So I was nearly pleading with the people to let me up because I thought that it might present a cup to the vice captain or something. All my boyhood dreams were coming together, really, I think. Uh, going up along the steps and uh, passing out all the lads on the way up, it, it was it was complete and utter magic. It goes very quick is the first thing. The other day they went as quick as my wedding day. It just flies from the minute you wake up. Tipperary have won the All-Ireland! I've been fortunate in the last two All-Irelands, you know, one and ten. I had the last puck of the ball and the umpires told me it's the last puck. So I had that second to have a look around the place in a day that's so frantic. To have that moment to say, look, when I hit this ball, I'm going to win that Ireland. You know, it was just fantastic. And when it's over, I think on both occasions, it drops my knees because it's just the elation is just fantastic. It's what I feel. Going up the steps and looking at people in the stand, you saw people. You hear about people saying, "Oh, old men crying in the stand." It was literally people crying in the stand. And it was just, it was just an amazing feeling and a, and a great thing to be involved in and part of, and something to live with me for the rest of my life. Unique, unique sport, and I think anyone who sees it from other countries that are, are amazed by it, and with a full Crow Park, a, a full stadium, it's incredible and uh, a privilege to have been part of it at some stage. I played on the biggest occasion nine times, so would I give up any of it? No, I wouldn't. If I could win, have won nine, fantastic, but you know, over a career, I'll take the five I won. I would look upon the All Ireland final as, if you like, a universal gathering of Irish people. It's the place to be on our Ireland final day, on the field, wanting to give your best. That's what it's all about. The thing is, no one can ever take that off us now. That happened and that's in history and uh, that's, the, that's the magic of it all and it'll be the magic for somebody on Sunday evening.